Hi everybody, it's Tracy from Glitter Thumbs, and this is the Cricut Explorer step-by-step. -step. This is actually step 7.5. It's a little bit more of an in-detail view on creating those SVGs in Inkscape and some of the issues that people might need to overcome. This is using Inkscape, and we're going over a few things that people are having some issues with while cutting a file. So this right here is a SVG that was created in Inkscape and there are a couple problems here and we're going to go ahead and upload it into Design Space and you'll see why. The person who created this wanted to create those different layers so that they can fill in the blanks for the Isla of the USA and everything was, was selected and everything was um, excluded so all the lines and everything looked great but the problem is is that Inkscape saved it as a regular black cutout so it didn't give the option for somebody to go in and color them afterwards so I'm gonna pull it up in ink in uh, design space just to show you what I mean by that I'm going to upload the image that at the time feels like it's finished because it says I love USA everything looks really great but you'll see why it's not quite there yet. I'm going to scroll down and pick that up. There's my little file. Let me open it up and I'm going to add a couple little tags in there so that we know what it is. You know what? We'll just save it. Pull it up on uh, the big screen here. And pull that baby up. Let's take a look. As you can see, it's, it's up in design space and you can enlarge it or reduce the size but I can't change anything with it other than the color that it's cutting it out in so it's one cut image on the right and there's nothing I can do about it so now we're going back into Inkscape to figure it out so here we are in Inkscape and I'm gonna go ahead and open that project up again this is a uh, originally a GIF, a GIF program or a file that I'm going to open up I'm going to select the entire thing and I'm going to path and ex uh, break apart. We're going to start with that one first. It breaks up all those tiny little sections. Now I can go on the bottom right and left click and create a uh, rectangle over the top of this image that I want to delete and I'm going to delete it or remove it. Now I need to go into each section and highlight it and color it the color that I think it needs to be. So I want that one to be red so the white picks up and like I said unfortunately with this video I could speed through it but I figure by the time I'm done talking <laughs> I'll be done with what I need to do so I'm clicking on each little section that needs to be colored and I'm going to uh, you know just pick what needs to be done so I'm going to focus a lot on that red white and blue now the stars we're going to focus on in a minute and you'll see some of the other issues that people might be having with this we're going to click on the blue for the flag the red and the white for the stripes and I'm going to go ahead and finish up this here. Now with the stars themselves, in order to make it a little bit faster for you, if you hold down the shift button, you can select multiple images. So I'm going to select all of those stars and it selects them all. Now I can do uh, make sure they're all changed to that, that white color. Now we're going up to the U. And like I said, it just takes a, a few more seconds uh, to, to color these, but you get the point. You need to click on the section first and then color it what color it needs to be. Now there is a section down below that you can customize the color. So if you don't like the ones that you see down below, you can fix that. But that's not going to be focused on in this class. Um, I just want to make sure that people get the basics down and then we can kind of go from there. Now I switched the S around, I want it to match the U, so we're just fixing those colors right there. So we're on to the S now. Well, we're finishing up that little section. Now we're on to the A. Now the A is going to be tricky because if you look, we're coloring, but there's also a black section in the back of the A that you uh, are, a lot of people are going to be scratching their heads on how to get rid of that. So what we're going to do is after it's filled in, I'm going to grab the white just to get it out of the way. So that I can touch the black in the background. So I'm going to select that center part, shift and grab a hold of that black background and I'm going to click on path exclusion. What that does is it tells the program that I want that triangle cut out of the black. If I didn't move that stuff out of the way, it might be a little bit confused or not do it. Here's the other thing. Take a look 
at this black in the background. Now in order for you to know that you don't have anything to, uh, to cut out as well, look how I pull the black away. There are some black outlines in the stars. Now those are unnecessary because you've already got a black background. So I'm gonna move these stars out of the way. Don't worry, I can put them back, but I wanna put them on a dark color so I don't lose them in the white background. I'm going to exclude these stars from the blue background. What that means is I'm going to tell the program, I want these stars cut out of the blue. So exclude means cut out pretty much. I want you to think of that when you, when you think of that button. I'm selecting all of these by clicking on the shift button and clicking on the stars. And then I'm gonna click on the entire blue and click on exclude. That told the program I want these cut out of the entire image. So now I'm going to go back in, and just so I don't forget where they are, put those little white stars finally back into the, the heart, and I can move them around once I can see them with the black background, but I just want to make sure I don't lose them because, you know, especially with that white background, like I said, it's pretty hard to see. So I'm going to go and move that sucker over. And that last one I think is on the bottom, but I'm going to move it to the red just so I can see where it is. I'm moving the black back and you can see now you've just saved yourself a little bit more time by getting rid of those black stars. Um, anything that we can do to create a shortcut to make it easier for you um, is a good thing because it takes a little bit of time to get these cut out and, and put together. So let's put that white back in and put everything back nicely where it belongs. Now I could zoom in here and it would make it a lot easier for me to move those stars but I'm just kind of eyeballing it to make sure that everything kind of looks the same. Ultimately, when it goes into design space, you're going to be manually doing it anyway, so I'm not too concerned. All right, the other thing is over here. Look at the red. Now, if I moved the black out of the way, you can see there still is a black outline in that star. You can also see in the red that that star is not being cut out. So this is when exclusion really does help out. I'm going to keep it where it is and move that red back. But I need to move the black out of the way because I want to make sure that I cut that star shape out of the red and not the black. So I'm going to move the white out of the way just so that I can grab that black, move it out of the way. I need to move the white star as well. So I'm going to grab that white star and get it out of the way. Now I'm going to tell the computer or the program, cut that star out. I'm going to select it, shift, click on the red path and exclusion. So now we have that star finally cut out and we can move everything back. Move that white into this section. And now our USA is completely done. That's gonna save a lot of trouble, a lot of problems, but it's ready to go into design space. So from there, I need to save it. You're gonna see I have a couple versions of this, so just ignore that. I'm gonna uh, call it new I Love USA. Replace the existing one, because it was a previous uh, file that I had available. And now I can open it into design space and you can see kind of how it's going to look like once it's all done. So here we are pulling it up into design space. Give it a second here. Waiting's always the hardest part. I'm very impatient. Go into create a new pro project and we're going to upload the image as a vector file because in Inkscape it defaults by saving everything into a vector file. So we're going to vector upload it, browse it, look for the new I Love USA, which is right there. Come on. And we're going to upload it. I'm going to create a couple little tags so that if I have to look for it again, I can put down patriotic um, USA. I love, you know, something like that to be able to find it again. I need to, uh, make a bigger screen here so I can click on that. All right, so here's our image. We're going to upload it now. It's in design space. It has all of the layers. So now from here, I can change that red, white, and blue, and I can change those colors as well. On the right hand side, you can see everything, all those little cuts. The white should only be the white stars cut out and the red and, and white stripes as well with the, uh, the blue flag. That is the basics as far as creating SVGs um, in Inks Inkscape. Like I said, I did have some prior 
classes that were were um, offered in here, which is the step five and oh goodness, step six, step six and step seven, I think. So if you look at all the prior ones, that should help you out if you're a little confused with this class. Like I said, just go back a few steps and and look at those. The next class, I am going to be focusing on unions and exclusions some more because um, I, that's something that I've noticed a lot of people are having some problems with. So we will work on that within uh, either today or tomorrow. I'll have that up and going for you. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you need any other ideas, scrapbooking supplies, more videos, please visit my website at www.glitterthumbs.com. And thank you so much for visiting with me. Like I said, it makes me so happy to see my, uh, my website um, get some activity and the same with the YouTube. This is a very new thing for me. I'm only, uh, gosh, two, min two months into this. So I'm, um, do they say happy as a clam? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for visiting my website and my YouTube uh, channel, and you have a great day. Thanks again.